In this work, we explore the use of a deformable octahedron robot as an alternative for the autonomous exploration of complex confined spaces, voids and tunneling structures. We started using simulation to study various modes of deformation, such as rotation, elongation and volumetric adaptation of the deformable robot. Evolution was used to speed up peristaltic locomotion of the octahedron inside pipes. The robot was able to move along intricate in-pipe sections such as T-joints, L-joints and Y-joints of different degrees of complexity. We carried this concept to reality. A first hydraulic prototype was constructed using inexpensive materials. The robot uses 12 syringes as linear actuators and 12 syringes as commanding keyboard. Forward peristaltic locomotion was successfully demonstrated inside real pipes that were manufactured using acrylics. A second hydraulic prototype was constructed using digital fabrication tools such as 3D printing and laser cutting. Specially designed connectors allowed our robot to travel efficiently, achieving locomotion inside complex structures such as T-joints. A super expandable linear actuator was also designed and constructed to achieve higher degrees of deformation. Various syringes are connected one inside of the other, so that the final length largely excels the initial actuator length. In addition, an electric robot was implemented using rapid prototyping tools. The robot uses linear actuators that mimic the principle of operation of power car antennas. A plastic wire is coiled up on a 3D printed reel, producing the actuator contraction. The reel is driven by a robotic standard servo motor. Various deformation modes were tested using this electric robot.
We expect this study will shed light on future applications of medical robotics. Our results suggest that this type of deformable robot has a potential for traveling inside blood vessels, having the capability of moving along complex cavities by selectively anchoring on the interior of soft surfaces. This video was specially prepared for the VIDA 14.0 contest. Thank you for watching.